Hello guys, this is Trash here from Crosshair Games X bringing you Resident Evil 6 demo, Chris's side of the story. Let's see how this works. Oh shit! So far, Chris looks a lot better. He doesn't look like he's on steroids like he did in Resident Evil 5, where his arms were the size of of a 300-pound man. Oh shit. Fuck, I just passed M.O. Oh shit. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be. Oh shit, that's still alive. This game is going to be amazing on the release date. It's going to have three stories. Leon, Chris, and some guy named Jack. Things aren't going too well over at the Three of Diamonds. They need you down there. Roger that. Skill points. It kind of seems like Chris's story has a little bit more action when Leon's is uh, dark and mysterious but this is a lot better you're killing people with guns and shit that's pretty that's pretty cool and then they turn into like some crazy like BOWs they don't give you so much ammo also so you gotta oh shit What's this? Oh, this is so cool. I got knocked down and I can still shoot. Yeah, you could tell by just in the demo that Capcom put more effort into this game than uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Raccoon City is still a, a really good game, in my opinion. Mo, mo, no mo. What's this? Time to go on this. Oh shit! And a button mash. Just the muscle memory saved me there. Hey, Pierce, I'm taking a little fire here. I saved your ass. You want to return the favor? I'm getting shouted at. Oh shit, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot. I'm a friendly guys. The controls are really smooth also. Fuck. This 
demo is just so kick ass. This demo was totally worth buying Dragon's Dogma. Just by itself. Oh shit. Fuck you, I'm using my knife. Shit. Whoa! Thank you, Mr. Teammate. And Capcom still stuck with, uh, with the whole teammate thing, but it seemed like this game actually got it, and your teammate isn't retarded, and you don't end up babysitting him. Like Sheva, you had to babysit her throughout the entire game of Resident Evil 5. What? Oh, sh... Shall we move on? Let's move on. HQ to Alpha Team. You're almost at the Ace of Spades. Oh shit. God, I almost got slapped by my sh Oh shit! Out of bullets! Oh fuck! Now you got two of them? Fucking red herbs. Whoa. No greener would actually be really helpful right now. This is very, very challenging. Also, I like how the game uh, added a, uh, a no pausing system. So you gotta make sure you're in a safe place before you uh, mess with your inventory. Chris to HQ. We're at the Ace of Spades. Copy that. 
I'm getting a shit ton of skill points, but I need bullets. Yeah, me too. Shit. Oh, God. Fucking get off me. Smack in the face. Alright, I'll keep my panties on. It's like a nuclear explosion in my pants. Oh god, I got a green herb. How do you use those? Did. Choose your targets as I mess with my stuff. There you have it guys, that was Resident Evil 6, Chris's side of the story. Hope you enjoyed the video. On October 2nd, when I get this game at midnight, I'm going to be uploading like crazy. I'm going to have every bit of gameplay added to this channel, so if you are a Resident Evil fan as much as I am, hope you uh, tune in and watch those videos. Till then, have a nice day, and I love all of you.